So let's go back to middle cross syndrome, yes. okay. Lateral, laterality. Yeah, mm. okay. So do you want me to, to yeah, explain yeah, what it is? Yeah, yeah, I want you to tell me, I'm, take, get me out of my misery. <laughs> okay, well, so I think it's quite helpful to just start out by talking about Yander's uh, muscle imbalance syndromes, just, just mm -hmm. briefly, because that's what this is based upon. So Yander had this concept. In fact, I'll, I'll show you a, a, a slide. Um, so these are the sort of classic uh, muscle oh, imbalance on. syndromes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you've got the, the layered syndrome over closest to you. Um, and then the lower cross syndrome, optimal posture in the middle, and then you've got what's called the upper cross syndrome on, on this right-hand side. Right. And so the, 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 the two that are probably talked about the most are the upper cross and the lower cross syndrome. And that's because Yanda talked a lot about them. The layered syndrome was a little bit of a kind of um, secondary thing that, that, that Yanda and Levitt or Lewitt talked about. Um, but interesting enough, that was because Yonder found that these uh, muscle imbalance syndromes were the most common in his patient base. When we talk about a syndrome, we're generally talking about symptoms. Mm. Um, so are there classical symptoms for each of, well, not the optimal posture, there shouldn't be any symptoms with that one, but... but yeah, the there, there, so, so there's, there's a, a raft of symptoms that can come as a result and, and conditions that mm. can arise as a result of mm. a muscle imbalance syndrome. So, you know, the, the, the thing about muscle imbalance syndromes is what you are witnessing when you see them is just you're witnessing certain muscles on one side of the body, body being too short or facilitated so yeah. they're overactive and their antagonist being relatively inhibited or weak so if we were to look at the upper cross syndrome which is you know almost ubiquitous most people have this to some degree because mm -hmm. it's a gravity pattern gravity tries to collapse us into this upper crossed position which is essentially a forward head posture yep. protracted shoulders and increased thoracic kyphosis Okay, so almost everyone has that to some degree. Um, and this is measurable. So this is one of the yeah. things that we do in the, in the check system is we measure everyone to see to what degree they, they have this or, or don't have it. Um, now, what drives that in Yonder's philosophy is short tight pecs, in particular pec minor, which mm -hmm. protract the shoulder, long weak rhomboids and middle trapezius, which allow the shoulder to protract, um, short tight sternocleidomastoids, upper trapezius and, and levator and suboccipitals, which, which pull the head forwards, and then long, weak or inhibited deep cervical flexors and supra and infrahyoid group muscles. So, so that, so, so, you know, slightly different to, to some uh, manual therapy philosophies, Yonder's concept is that these muscles draw the joints into a certain position uh, essentially, in this case, a hyperkyphosis and a forward head posture.